to jump. And return, return on the camera. But whatever, I'm just sitting here picking off labels or in opening stuff and just trying to see what stuff looks like and all the other stuff like that. So, yeah. Just doing this out of sheer boredom. Trying to get this little clearance sticker off of here now. My Maybelline collection, as far as my the color sensationals, is growing. I missed out on most of this that spring. There was like five of those little mineral like duos in those little light colors. And then they had another limited edition, one of a darker, little richer tone or whatever. so forth. It's at the part now with the twins getting their damn Harry Potter manuscript. I tell you something, that bitch is crazy. I give a damn what nobody says. Miranda Priestley is a bitch and she's crazy. That is the new nuances now. Yeah, I'm really expecting y'all to see what that looks like on my skin. Mm -hmm. Really? But anyway, it should be pretty nice. But what I was saying about the Maybelline, as far as the color sensational, yeah, that one is growing. I have actually more of those than I thought I would. <coughs> Whoa. My goodness, that's like seriously that could the top part of that could be a dupe or lavender whip. So then you go down more uh, into the color. It's something else entirely weird. Very light right there. And then uh, I don't know if it gets any kind of tone anywhere. Whatever. But these are limited edition ones, I believe, from some, from the spring something or other. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Who cares? <laughs> it's just like, I thought that I wanted to do something as far as getting back into the blogging and whatnot was concerned, but I'm not feeling very much of anything right now. True. So, I'm sitting here watching stuff. That one, that's watch right there. Is for the Le Gloss in Watermelon Crush. So now I have three of these. Two for three and then one I bought for five. Yeah, because I think, I don't remember what was three. I think this was three. I think this was three, and this was five. Something like that. Oh, and this is what the pins look like out of their little package. I think cute. They're adorable. So, yeah. There's all of that good mess right there. But like I said, I'm just piddling right now. Don't even know. That was pretty what to talk about. Oh uh, yeah, that is the pink topaz. Very infallible. And this is what this little itty bitty thing of Vaseline looks like. It is so cute. Yes, it's cute. It's cute. Look at that. It is too nice. So that's that. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do in this room that I need to do. I put up something the other day just to do something else in here. I want a light stick. I need a light above because every time I try to do my makeup, I'm getting shadows from the sides, and it's like, it's 
I'm looking for me, so, yeah. Set aside about ten bucks. See if I can find one. Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot. Somebody's got to have one somewhere. I don't even care if it's an under cabinet. Like, anything that I can put up there that can, you know, do the thing. Because, like... Damn it, that I was forgetting something. Now, I remember what it is. I forgot two things, actually. These two little things here came together, and they were one... I want to say one nineteen on sale. Clearance. They're getting rid of them. But look at what's inside. Yes! See, that's the room light that's on right now. It's not really doing anything, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to turn it off again. Okay, now, and as I adjust once again, now, here's the crazy thing. Walgreens does some weird stuff, but because I'm going there most of the time, and I know most of the ladies that are there, Things have a tendency or a way of working themselves out. So I am going to. Where's my little glass thing that I just had? Oh, never mind. I'll just put it back in the damn basket, y'all. Please get done. Well, here's the thing. I took off most of the jewelry and crap that I had on because it's really not working. It wasn't important. Okay, so got the little baskets, blah, 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 blah. But. Yeah, this is a nail polish month for me. I am going to finish getting what I can of LA Colors from Family Dollar as well as other locations like these supply stores and so on and so forth, especially my favorite one. But yes, there are, I don't have number six, but there are 24 colors altogether of the Fergie polish. And this is the first time that I've ever really done a nail polish haul. But you've got, in some kind of way or another, she and Wet Wild have collaborated. And that's what the top looks like. Then you've got this nice shape to the bottle, which kind of looks like half of a Borghese. There is a cardboard display. And then there's what they're going to have, kind of like a permanent thing. The stuff on the wall, little Mylar doohickeys. They are three ninety nine. The stuff in the cardboard is three forty nine and that's what I got each of these for. Lovely lady at the counter did the price price adjustments for me. And you also have her signature or what looks to be her signature. Well it's her name on the silver part of the bottle right there. I know you can't see that, but that's what's there. And of course you've got the initial thing going on at the top. Kind of like that. Um, uh, whatever. Now, so, here are the colors. Ferguson Crest Syrah. This is 0018. There are no particular order. But this is this really unique gold. It's a gold and, and red. It's like a red infused with gold. It is something never seen anything like it. This one is called Zero Two Zero Velvet Lounge. And then this guy is Make Them Boys Go Loco. Like that song. And that's Zero Nineteen. This is the purple. This one is called L.A. Pride. And this is Zero Thirteen. This guy is XOXO Zero Fourteen. I only have one of these in my pile that's actually up there on the display. The actual wet and wild display with everything else that's on the wall. This is Dana015. And this is the one that I'm talking about. This one is called Tonight's Gonna Be a Good Night. That's a 024, which is the black with all of the gold glitter in it. That's kind of cool. It's got black glitter and then gold, the little gold round glitter inside of it. 
here's another glitter. It's kind of a... I don't know. I want to say... I don't know. It's a metallic something or other. But it's called Flopsy Flopsy. You know that song. Glamorous. Okay, anyway. This one is known as 005. Like I said, I don't know what number 6 is. I have to check my notes. But anyway, that's what Flossy Flossy looks like. Kind of like a pink. Kind of like a rose gold. Flex. There you go. This one is blue eyed gold. This is 011 or 011, whichever. So it's the frosty blue. But then you've got this one, which is Mermaid Curve 010 or 010 whichever one you want to say, and it is a kind of a tealish looking color with all those little sparkles and so on going on in there. So that is all of the 10 polishes that I got for $3.49 because they were on the cardboard and not on the wall. Okay, so I saved 50 cents piece on those. Okay, so, now that Sorry, those itches every time I put powder and foundation on it. And all that good stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to do the toes with all of these lovely colors. For, I don't know these. The only thing that goes on these, 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 these buddies right here is clear polish. That's it. It's the only thing that doesn't really chip. I don't really like polishing my fingernails anymore. I did when I was little, but not anymore. So, yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the end of Grown Up Show and Tell for today. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.